What's up? It's Landon Castle, NASCAR driver, back here with another tutorial. But this time it's for the Landon Castle Qualifying Challenge. Friday on May 15th, 2020, we are qualifying for a $10,000 top prize to the winner of the main event. You get one shot, one lap in the main event to win all the money. You gotta make it through the prelims, a sea of drivers, get to the top prize, get to the main event. Uh, so, what I have done is I made a lap for those of you who are interested in training for the LCQC main event. I made a lap here at Darlington. Uh, just so you know, the weather conditions are very hot. It's nighttime, um, and we have a strong wind going northwest, uh, coming from the northwest here at Darlington. Uh, I felt like that made it a little bit more challenging, made it to where you couldn't quite hold it wide open through one and two. We're using the iRacing fixed setup. Um, so uh, it's a pretty good handling setup. You've got already got it in your folders, um, but there's a lot of throttle and it seems easy, but it's not easy. It's a very complicated lap. Um, so I'm gonna run you through this lap. First of all, before we get into the lap, I want you to know that I have two lift points um, on each end of the uh, a lift point on each end of the racetrack. It's the same sign on each end of the racetrack that you can use. It's a red sign on the wall. Um, it's up far off here in the distance. It's a red Myrtle Beach, visit MyrtleBeach.com sign. So we're gonna fast, we're gonna play ahead to this sign. You can see right there, there's my Myrtle Beach sign. As soon as I can see it or I feel like I'm a car length away from it, I'm lifting. This is into turn one at Darlington. Um, this is a really brief lift, but to be honest with you, this is a much earlier lift than I think a lot of you might be used to going. Uh, going for it Darlington you're in really invited to to try to run wide open through one and two especially with the 550 package in this cup car uh, but I don't want you to do that with this package with this setup with this wind conditions these track conditions that we're going to be using for the LCQC I don't think that you can run wide open through one and two here so if you can't run wide open you're better off to lift a little bit early and get back to the gas really early which is what I did because you can see I'm lifting before the visit Myrtle Beach sign actually a lot farther more bef before it than I thought looks like it's uh, that's 689 almost a hundred feet before it okay so that's my marker but just so you know that uh, I think I've just realized that I'm lifting a lot before it so if you drive all the way to the marker then you've gone too far so going to the Myrtle Beach sign um, lifting briefly and then picking up the, the gas and this isn't a spike of the throttle you can see it has a little bit of an angle to it it's not completely vertical um, I feel like that's actually very important to, to allow the car to compress and rotate on throttle at the same time if you if you get back to the gas too hard um, I think the car would just drive straight It'll, you'll you'll get really tight so um, really quickly back to the throttle though and as you can see I'm back to wide open by the time I'm even back to the bottom of the corner here. Okay, so we're approaching the Darlington on the wall. Uh, we've got 90% usage on the racetrack, so a lot of usage on the racetrack. You want to get to the top of the black and be at the top of turn one and two at the, the red Darlington before you start bringing it back down. Um, don't get up in the gray. There's not as much grip up there. Still wide open, and try not to clip the apron. It's not going to hurt you, but it'll cost you maybe a half of a hundredth worth of speed by the end of the back stretch. Okay, so the entry into turn three, really important. But once again, I'm looking for this red sign right here. You can see in my VRS data, I've got a lift point, and I'm using some brake over here in turn three. Now, this is a really important entry. Uh, this is probably the most important part of the racetrack. I feel like there's a half a tenth to a tenth of speed to gain or lose in one and two um, there's even more than that in turn three so once again I'm using the visit Myrtle Beach sign as my braking as my lift point but I'm actually lifting a little bit before that um, so just know that there's some reaction time and all that and it's really hard to see here but and you can't actually see it in this video but when you get in the sim you'll be able to see it there's a seam in the middle of turn three and you just want to cross your left sides over that seam. You don't want to go all the way to the very bottom here. You don't want to stay too high. Uh, you just want to cross your left sides over that seam during your peak brake pressure. So I'm peaking my brake pressure, as you can see right here, where I'm circling 22.73% brake pressure. It's a nice little kind of hump of a brake pressure. It's not like a spike, 
or anything like that. Um, but it, I feel like it's good firm brake pressure, especially for an intermediate track. Crossing the seam, drifting up, and once again, very straightforward. We've got the Darlington sign on the wall. I'm already back to wide open at this point, so I'm going to back up just a little bit to my initial throttle. So once again, I mean, diamonding, approaching the Darlington on the wall. These are really good markers for Darlington Raceway to have on the wall. I'm picking up a little bit of throttle, but it's actually more important to make sure that you're getting the car pointed here than it is picking up the throttle. Um, and I'm wide open by, really by the D in Darlington, or it feels like the D in Darlington. That's wide open right there. And pointing back down the hill. And you can see we've got some wind going down the front stretch. Um, so I'm pulling it back down a little bit lower. Not quite all the way to the bottom, but to be honest with you, I could be even lower here and it's not going to hurt me. It's better to be a little bit too low on exit um, than it is too high because if you're too high, you'll get tight and you'll hit the wall. So that's wide open. Off the corner all the way to the start finish line. And that lap in the data was a 27.585. 27.585. That's a pretty fast lap for these conditions. I think you can go faster if the weather's cooler. But in the LCQC, when you're qualifying with one shot for $10,000, we have a hot racetrack. We have a lot of usage. Um, so make sure you're practicing in 90 degree temperatures with 30 mile an hour winds going from the northeast. 90% um, track usage at a nighttime setting with the iRacing Darlington Fix setup. Uh, good luck. Get your entries in at AtlanticCastle.com. Tune in to eNASCAR.com slash live on Friday, May 15th, 9 p.m. Um, good luck in the prelims on Thursday, May 14th.